Dragging a few defenders as he releases this one for Marcus Rashford. A few step overs to bring it inside. It's your typical Marcus Rashford attack. Looking for another one. Cross coming in for Rashford. Oh, that is a phenomenal touch from Rashford. Big decision to be made in today's episode of the Manchester United career mode series. Whether we accept this offer from Inter Milan for David De Gea or not. Of course, this coincides with whether we sign Jan Oblak or not. So, a lot is relying on this decision. You guys have made your opinion known through the comments section. What's going to happen, Oblak or De Gea? That's what we're going to decide in today's episode. And let's not forget, guys, after we're wrapped up with transfer deadline day, we've got Champions League round of 16, first leg against Lyon. And very soon on the horizon, Manchester City in the Carabao Cup final. Our chance to finally win a trophy in this series after going trophyless last time around. Massive, massive episode coming up with a lot of big decisions to be made. Drop a like on the video if you're enjoying this series. Subscribe if you're new around here and let's get things underway. Just a quick heads up, you know, to keep you all in the loop. I'll be away visiting my grandparents from like the 1st of January to like I think the 4th of January, so I'll be away and during that time I won't be able to upload career mode videos daily, so I'll be uploading still alternate days career mode videos, so bear with me guys for this period, but I might have like other videos up on the channel if I do manage to pre-record them at like, you know, one time, but yeah, that's the plan, so yeah, hopefully you guys have a fantastic new year, enjoy the night and whatever, this is I think being uploaded on the 1st of January, so probably already new year so i'll be away for a few days but you guys will still get a lot of content on the channel so that's how things are going to be for the next few days and after the 4th of january we're back with regular daily career mode content that's the plan all right now press conference to start off the episode this one's interesting how many times are we going to tell you to stop doing the quick sim thing i know man the amount of times the quick sim thing is shafted me is crazy like that game against Fulham, as you guys can see on your screen we drew that because of the quick sim, it's, it's dodgy. But the thing I've noticed is it's all the same. Even when I do the visual sim, I end up like drawing or losing. And sometimes I jump in and I still end up losing. So it's basically just I'm bad at FIFA, I guess. I don't even know. I quick sim games mostly to, you know, keep the progress flowing of the episode and to save some time. So I'll still keep doing it in games. I feel it's okay to do so. But yeah, yeah, that's probably why, you know, we just got to keep the series flowing. So we'll still keep it going and hopefully we won't be seeing any more stupid results like that Fulham one. Next up, who has been your standout performer for the first half of this season? That's a very good question. It's probably between Marcus Rashford and Mikel Oyarzabal. Stats wise, Rashford blows Mikel Oyarzabal out of the water. But I've got to say, Mikel Oyarzabal was so influential in the early stages of this season. Like, honestly, he was scoring hat-tricks, braces every other game. It was nuts. But towards the latter end of, you know, this period we're judging the two players on, Oyarzabal kind of, like, didn't step up as much as Rashford did. He was scoring hat-tricks now for us, and it's so difficult, but I think I'm leaning towards Marcus Rashford. 21 goals so far this season. Dennis is. It's got to be him. Next up, do you regret selling any players? If so, who? Anthony Martial is probably a one because he's 89 rated now. His stats just continue to go up. And Haaland, he's been doing well for me, but Anthony Martial, I think, would have done the same job. So I kind of feel like I just wasted time and effort selling Martial and bringing Haaland. In the process, I strengthened Manchester City as well. So yeah, this transfer, I'm not too sure of now. I think I made a mistake. It happens. It really happens. And well, yeah, but hopefully Haaland will continue to score a ton of goals. No doubts on Haaland. He's been amazing, but it's just that was it worth it, you know, doing all this? That's what I'm thinking. So a bit of regret selling Anthony Martial. But with that, press conference done. Let's move on. Player of the episode and Marcus Rashford is winning this one. Last episode, he bagged a hat trick and was just genuinely phenomenal, like some of the quality of goals he was scoring and a hat-trick against Chelsea, I mean, he's got to win the award and well, he bags the player of the episode award. Okay, it's now time to make the ultimate decision, whether it's De Gea or Jan Oblak, what are we gonna do? Should we sell De Gea for this offer? He's 31, 88 rated, but Jan Oblak is 93 rated, he's definitely a bigger upgrade and De Gea makes mistakes in game. Oblak probably won't. He'll probably save everything that comes at him. And we haven't used Oblak all that much in my career mode history. So 
that'd be a great signing. Now, one reason why I'm tempted is because we're gunning for every trophy possible right now. Carabao Cup final, Champions League, we're still alive and doing well. And of course, the Premier League will league lead us. So there's a chance we could win the treble this season. And if we do so, I think this series is done. There's no point continuing after, you know, you win a treble. We could do that. And by selling De Gea and bringing in all black, it's a much better chance of achieving that. And that's why I think we need to pull the trigger here. We absolutely need to. We need to bring Jan Oblak just enforcing our defense even more. And also, back in the day, I think a few months ago, Rio Ferdinand came out and said that Oblak is the man who should replace David De Gea if that ever happens. So, semi-realistic, I don't know. But maybe if De Gea leaves, Man United have the money to pull this off. Let's make it happen though. Nothing's decided yet, by the way. We may do another season here with Man United, but it all depends on what we wins. And also, one other factor is the Realism mod is coming out soon on the PC version of FIFA. And I'm very tempted to do a career mode with that because last year, remember the lead series with the Realism mod? It was nuts. You know, the player face models, the kits. We could do a lot of stuff on PC and that's why I'm keen on moving back to PC for the mods very soon. So just a thought. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Do you prefer next gen FIFA or the realism mod? I'd love to know. Now I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit risky signing Jan Oblak before even the De Gea deal goes through. Because if we're stuck with both Oblak and De Gea, <laughs> that's gonna be hilarious. But anyways, he's worth about 102, 103 million. And for some reason, I think we can get him for that amount. Let's just offer 100 million and just see what Atletico Madrid think. 100 million, they want 104.2. For a 93 rated keeper, that's all. I know he's 29, but still he's a goalkeeper. Fair enough, that seems like a decent deal. We spent more on Mikel Oyarzabal for God's sake. This is decent. Getting the contract negotiations done as well. A three year deal is what he wants. No release clause. Works absolutely fine for me. In terms of wages, we'll offer him the same wages. Now we'll give him a wage boost because I think he deserves a 200. We'll give him like 180,000. That's fair. And a million in signing bonus. I think he's going to counter that with more because of his overall. We'll see. Yeah, he wants a big, big wage bump. We'll remove the clean sheet bonus. It's just my OCD, you know. I don't like giving appearance or clean sheet or goal bonuses. So that is the offer for Jan Oblak. Is he going to accept it? He is. And there you go. We've legit signed the world's best goalkeeper. 93 rated Jan Oblak. Come on. What a signing on deadline day. That could be the final signing we make in this entire series. Who knows? Question is now if the De Gea deal is going to go through or not. Because if it doesn't, we're stuck with like a 93 rated keeper and an 88 rated keeper. So I'm nervous now, guys, whether that deal is going to go through. It has. De Gea, thank you for your services. Hopefully he enjoys a great time at Inter Milan. The deal has gone through. And now Jan Oblak is our number one goalkeeper. Let's give Jan Oblak that number one kit as well. Absolutely perfect. Deserves it. We're almost done with transfer deadline day. And yeah, that's the squad. You guys have seen it. That's the team we've got until the end of the season. Possibly end of this series. We don't know yet. But this is what we're working with until the end of this season at the very least. Very happy with the squad. Very happy with the depth we've got as well. I'm gunning for as many trophies as possible. Let's get it. Quick look at our season objectives. Let's hope for some more progress in this one. Goals from Rashford, of course. Assists from Bruno. All of that will be helpful. May the FIFA gods bless us and give us a win over Brighton. We're using our strongest 11. There's no way we're dropping points here against them. Thank God we get the win. Rashford scores. One Bissaka as well. I'll take a 2-0 win. That's how the Premier League table looks after that most recent win over Brighton. 63 points at the moment. 6 above Liverpool. We're cruising in the league. It's literally our title to lose. For now though, our main focus is the Champions League. We're up against Lyon. Round of 16 first leg. No mistakes in this one. Let's get the job done here. Get a good result to take to Old Trafford and hopefully see them out there. A bit of scouting in Liga to see how Lyon have been competing. Second in Liga. Unbeaten as well. Okay, now I'm a bit worried about this one. They're unbeaten in the French League. Four points off PSG who are unbeaten as well. What's going on there? Lineups wise, this is what I'm rocking. Not a time to experiment. I'm going with my trusted first 11 with Jan Oblak making his like gameplay debut of the series. Yeah, he played in that previous game against Brighton, but this is where we'll get to see the real Jan Oblak in action. Is that signing enough to take us to the Champions League trophy? We'll find out, but first, 
We need to get past Leon Depay playing against this former team. They've got Paqueta as well, but overall, that team does look beatable. Looking at our team, the, the overalls and all, it's incompatible. We are definitely the favourites. And let's see them out of the Champions League. Maybe wrapping this one up in the first leg, but we can't get too cocky. Let's get into this one. Here we go, Champions League round of 16. Manchester United take on Olympique Lyon. I'll be real with you guys, I will be extremely disappointed if we don't win this game and do it comfortably. I'm pretty sure this is my first video of the year. I'm uploading this on the 1st of January at least I think and yeah, Happy New Year guys. 2021 hopefully it'll be an amazing year for all of you guys and myself as well. 2020 although it's been a difficult year with Covid and all the restrictions on you know a career level for me. YouTube has just been so good and it's kind of helped me cope with the situation, I'll be real. And honestly, you guys, man, your support has just been unbelievable. Helping me fulfill my dream of, you know, playing career mode for a living. So, appreciate you guys so much and well, hopefully, 2021 will be even better for all of us. Leon look really open, but so do we. Why is so much space given away? One Bisaka though, that's as clean as a tackle gets. Brilliant defending from him. Can I see Mikel Oyarzabal make that run? Of course I can. And now Oyarzabal is on the attack and on the counter we've completely flipped the switch as they would say. As we're on the attack here with Mikel Oyarzabal, quick feet to find Van de Beek. Now Rashford, right foot, but that was always going to get blocked. But the trickery there from Mikel Oyarzabal was class. Not going to lie, it's been a bit of a cagey affair. We've like barely had a shot on target. The same goes for Lyon as well. It's It's been a weird one. There you go, a foul from of course Van de Beek. By the way... Ramos considering retirement, that's interesting, hopefully that doesn't come to fruition, I feel like still Ramos has got a lot to offer, chance for them, but that's Oblak's first save in a Man United shirt, as easy as it gets. Memphis Depay can't let this Coleman guy go through, Depay again, that's a saucy pass, but I think Ramos held up the defender, the attacker actually really well and Oblak collected it very quickly, so yeah, this first half is all about like half chances for both teams. Barely any team has even gotten a shot off, but that might change now. As here's Haaland who's broken through in the Champions League. Haaland has backed the goal from literally our first attack we've scored. Haaland makes it 1-0 against Olympique Lyon. 45th minute as well. This man has stepped up in the Champions League with a big goal as Manchester United take the lead. The strength there from Haaland to hold off the defenders. And he did that so easily just by putting his hand across the defender. And the finish as well was beautiful against Anthony Lopez and we're 1-0 up against Leo. And what a perfect time to score as well just before the halftime whistle. It's advantage Man United. We get the away goal as well. Couldn't have been a better time for us to take the lead in the game because... Yeah, 45th minute, it's been a very tight game. To make it 1-0 has been super key. And we've got the lead now. Second half, let's keep going and maybe try and double up that advantage. That'll help our cause a lot for the second leg. Awad looking in behind and Memphis Depay is on the attacker. Ramos is there to hold him up, but it's good football from, of course, Lyon. But they mess up. That was a bad touch from one of the Lyon players. And they've completely messed up. Which could be a huge problem for them. Because Marcus Rashford is through on goal. And 1v1 Marcus Rashford ain't missing. No way. Rashford makes it 2-0 against Olympic. Lyon celebrates as well. Manchester United to Lyon 0. Two away goals as well. We've run riot here in Paris. A team that are unbeaten. Not Paris. Lyon. Yeah, I don't know why I said Paris. We've run riot in France. But... We're running right against the team that are unbeaten in the French League. And we've completely like dismantled them. 2-0 up. We're looking comfortable defensively. Offensively we're creating now. Yeah, we're cruising. And let's keep this up. Let's score more because I think there's more goals in us. Because Lyon are leaving themselves completely open at the back. Look at this pressure from Lyon. They're really stepping things up. But that leaves a lot of gaping holes at the back. Luke Shaw here. Good performance from him so far. I'm waiting for Rashford to make that run. He does make that run. It's absolutely brilliant. Rashford looking for the cross, but the cross was a bit underwhelming. Although, chance here for now. One Bisaka who's gotten in behind here. Could play this one in for Mikel Oyarzabal on the volley. It's 3-0 Manchester United. I kind of hope for Mikel to score that with his head. So that would help us with the objectives. But regardless, 3-0 up against Lyon. This tie is done. 
There's no way Lyon are mounting a comeback now. We've completely dismantled them here, away from home. The game at Old Trafford is now just going to be a formality. There you have it guys, full time and what a performance and result away from home in the Champions League round of 16. There's no hope for Olympic Leo. we've completely outclassed them in this first leg. As I said now, the second leg is just going to be a formality. Up next we have Wolves in the Premier League and normally this would be a game that I'd play but honestly I'm rushing to record these videos for the time I'm away visiting my grandparents so it's kind of difficult to play three games an episode so we're sticking to two games an episode for now while I'm of course um, trying to pre-record videos for you guys so we're going to simulate this one against Wolves we're thankfully six points above Liverpool so even if Something ridiculous happens in this game. We can cope with it. This is it, guys. Can our first team get three points against Wolves at Old Trafford? Oh my god, what a relief. We just about can. An 88th minute winner from Bruno Fernandes. Van der Beek scored as well. A brace, actually. I'll take it, man. Just about beating Wolves in the Prem. We still keep the six-point advantage over Liverpool with those wins in the Premier League. So that is awesome. But for now... It's time to win a trophy. Oh, it's been so long. We haven't won a single trophy in this series. And this is our chance to do so. Manchester City in the Carabao Cup final. That game will be played right now at Wembley. This is it. We're not losing this, guys. We're absolutely not losing it. Last season, we lost an FA Cup final to Arsenal. Or was it Spurs? I think it was Spurs, actually. We gave Spurs a trophy this season we're getting this in the bag manchester derby in the carabao cup final let's go out there and get that trophy time for the carabao cup final and this could be our first trophy of the series now because in the carabao cup a lot of our you know reserve players were involved and helped us get here i feel like they deserve to start so jack Grealish, renato sanchez dan james all start this one we've still got all our world-class players in there and on the bench as well so i think the squad is ready Manchester City's Anthony Martial will be playing against this former team yet again, this time in a final. Oh god, the storyline is there. We cannot let him score, guys, honestly. United versus City. Let's get into this one. Carabao Cup final. We're winning this. The teams are ready here at Wembley. Players are walking out from their team buses. There's Kevin De Bruyne ready for the game. Oh man, this is it. We're going to Wembley again. Last time we were here... We, of course, lost the FA Cup final to Spurs. That's not happening again. And the Carabao Cup final has kicked off. We're up against a formidable opponent in Manchester City. But this season, we've shown we're better than the rest in the Premier League. And let's make that count here and beat them in this final and get our first trophy of this series. Remember, guys, in games like this, early goals could be so devastating. So we've got to avoid conceding. At the same time, if we score one ourselves... We're in a fantastic position to win this game as Renato Sanchez looks to switch the play for Marcus and does that brilliantly as Rashford gets past one. Still Marcus Rashford going for that finesse shot. We know how effective that can be but this time a deflection. Man City looking at their very best now as Kevin De Bruyne finds Raheem Sterling. No, 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 Jan Oblak. We've signed you to make saves from those positions but... Man City carved us open, man. 36 minutes of the game and they've made it 1-0. Ah, that's not good. Now we're playing back from the back foot yet again. 1-0 up Manchester City. This is a disaster. Ah, it's going to be a nightmare trying to make a comeback from here. We've just got to keep going, I guess. We're getting rinsed down this right side. Like Bernardo Silva, Phil Foden and co. They're just destroying us down that side. They almost carved us open again. It's scary how good this Man City team is. Second half, I'm going to make a lot of changes because this can't go on. Making changes for this second half because I feel like we'll lose this final if we don't. Bruno Fernandes comes on. Mikel Oyarzbal. And I also want experience at the back and that's why Sergio Ramos is on. So, three big changes. Let's hope that can inspire us to a trophy this season. Come on. Honestly, man, in cup finals, if you don't get that first goal, it is just chaos. Now, that's not a penalty. That is not a penalty. I got the ball. It's a yellow card, but I got the ball. I mean, let me take a look. It felt like I got the ball. I did get the freaking ball. What a joke. Have a look at this, guys. Have a look at this. This is, this is going to make everything clear. I clearly got the ball there, guys. It, uh, let me see. What happened here? Come on. This will give us a good look. 
See, I got the freaking ball, guys. And, and I got the ball first. In fact, Immobile went for the shot. And I blocked it. That's not a pen. What a joke. This is Jan Oblak's moment to shine. If he saves this, Immobile has actually chipped him. And we're 2-0 down. Oh, my God. Is this actually happening now? We're 2-0 down. It's over. I can't see myself making a comeback here. We'll need a big, big... I don't even know what to say. How will we even do this? Heartbreaking, man. That was never the pen. We've got nothing to lose, so I'm going all out now for the rest of this game. I'm trying a 4-4-2 formation with, like, high-pressure tactics. Let's just see what happens. We're, we've literally got nothing to lose. EA have robbed us, man. That was never a penalty in a million years. I need Rashford to make a nice diagonal run, but instead he's, like, struggling to decide where to go. But Bruno Fernandes is doing well here still bruno cut back for mikel oh let's go mikel oyarzbal gets us a goal back and that is a lifeline guys as bruno takes him out i don't know what they're doing but we've got a goal back 20 minutes to go can we get another bruno fernandez did so well there to create that chance mikel with a brilliant assist our two you know wingers combining here come on boys there's still a bit of hope come on We've got to keep the pressure. We've got to keep our shape and the pressure up. Come on, if we can win the ball in positions like that, we create opportunities like this. Marcus Rashford now. I'm going to try and bring it inside. Bruno Fernandes as well. Kimmich. Chance now. What am I going to do from here? Haaland. Ah, oh, that's a foul. How is that not a foul? But the other challenge, I made a foul. This, this uh, city have bought the refs. Honestly, the oil money. It's the oil money, guys. Definitely. I'm going team press and overload ball side. It's now or never, guys. It is now or never. And look at City. They're just playing the ball back and forward. I swear, this, this is a joke. Like, how is this a thing? How is the AI parking the bus and, like, passing the ball around like pricks? Like, what a joke. Ramos, good challenge. Come on now. Haaland has picked up a knock, but I don't care at this point. Rashford sending him through. Marcus Rashford, big opportunity here, Haaland, sees Renato Sanchez, Mikel Oyarzbal, oh, again now as we've let City, you know, come back with all their players, Haaland, Rashford, Bruno Fernandes, this is it, this is it, Bruno Fernandes, cut back, Marcus has to score, let's go, freaking go man, let's go, Marcus Rashford with the goal, two all guys, we've made the comeback, what an effort it's been. I'm exhausted. I, I need I need a I need a vacation from FIFA after all this. Honestly. Oh my god. Bruno Fernandez again the creator. We're exploiting the width with you know this 4-4-2 formation. It's been so effective, guys. And we're leading, not leading. We've, we've I don't even know what to say because such an impossible situation. We've turned it around. It's too all. There's still time for a winner. Let's keep pushing, boys. We can actually knock out City and do like a famous comeback over them. Let's make it happen. What a moment in this series. The last thing I want is conceding in the 90th. So, ref, blow the whistle. Take us to extra time. I'll be happy with that. But why isn't he blowing the whistle? And he finally does. So, we're going to extra time in the Carabao Cup final. Honestly, didn't expect we'd be here after being 2-0 down. So, I'll take it. We're going for the winner though in extra time. 100%. Oh, God. Oh, God. Not this way, Angelino. Now, it is Ramos who... He just warps away from the ball. We've got to win that. Kimmich has to win that Upamecano with a great block as we do get the ball away somehow. Ramos, man, he's having a disaster class giving away that pen, which I guess wasn't a pen. But then again, here, what was he doing? I don't know. But yeah, second half of extra time now. Come on, at least give me that one chance. And hopefully we won't have to go to pens because if we go to pens, it's 50-50. And anything can happen. One opportunity. Just give me that one chance. And hopefully we'll be able to take it. Haaland. Looks here for Rashford. Rashford going in and out. This time out. I need some support. Where, where, am I, where are my midfielders? Rashford going all the way I suppose. Looks for Haaland though. Haaland. Haaland with a big chance. Still Haaland. Shoots and Fernandinho doing Kung Fu to stop that. What a joke. How did he even block that? Nah, man, that was going right in the back of the net. All right, boys, this is it. If there was ever a moment I needed a header from Sergio Ramos, instead the ball goes for Haaland. I was aiming at Ramos, though. We're going to penalties. This is going to be heartbreaking, isn't it? Isn't it? I can feel it, guys. I can already feel it. Ref, blow the whistle. 
We're going to penalties in the Carabao Cup final. I want to cry. Jan Oblak, this is why we paid all the big bucks for you. Please save us and win us the trophy. Kevin De Bruyne to take the first pen against Jan Oblak. I'm going left and Oblak has saved it. Let's go. That's what we need, boys. And now it's all up to us. Come on. I want to put this in with Bruno. It's decent. It's simple, but decent. 1-0. We've got the advantage against City. Jan Oblak, heroics needed from you. Ah, that's the perfect pen from Sergio Aguero, guys. Now it's Ramos to take this one for us. I'm going right. Please work. Oh, that is classy from Sergio Ramos. Had that one covered. And now Vinicius Jr. to take this one. We're going right. He misses. Let's go. It's been a shocker for Man City. Oblak is having the best day of his life. Can Mikel Oyarzabal put this one left side? Oh, he times that one to perfection. 3-1 up. We save this and I think we win. Come on, Jan Oblak. Be the hero. Ah, Bernardo Silva with a perfect pen. But now it is the big moment for us. And it's Alex Telles taking it. Not too sure about that. But I'm going to go right. I'm going to go right. I'm going to trust in it. Oh, dude. Nah, not this way. We've still got it in the bag. If we can save this. Come on, Jan Oblak. Save this. Jan Oblak is the hero, guys. We've won the Carabao Cup. Courtesy of that man, Jan Oblak. Who's made some big saves in this penalty shootout. Unbelievable celebrations, guys, as we've just won the Carabao Cup, but we had to work hard for this. From 2-0 down to 2-all, and then on penalties to win it. Oh my god, the drama, the heroics, it's... Whew, I'm tired, man. I need a good night's sleep after this. Oh my god, was this stressful. But we've done it, boys. The Carabao Cup is ours. Time to lift that trophy, boys. Our first of this series. This is going to be a memorable one, the Carabao Cup. I don't know why Kimmich is the captain, but we'll, we'll run with it. I think it's because he, uh, Bruno Fernandes didn't start this one. But Bruno was a big influence. He assisted both of the goals of the night. Probably my man of the match as well. But there you go. We've done it, boys. We've won our first trophy of this series. There you go, guys. We've just added the Carabao Cup to our trophy cabinet. Hopefully the first of three. Wow. Just after all that good news, this is the worst possible news we could get. Upamecano has suffered a training injury and he'll be out for the next three months. Is that a season done? I think so. We're in March. That's the entire month of March gone. April gone as well. And May. Yeah, he's gone. He's not there for the rest of the season. But I am so glad we've signed David Alaba because now is Alaba is going to come up clutch for us because he's going to be a starter and Bai is going to be back up. So it's been a masterclass signing Alba, but it's bad news missing out on Upamecano. It's going to be difficult coping without him, but thankfully, we've got a capable replacement in Alba. King Marcus Rashford, man. Big progress from him for today's season goals. 24 now for him, just 6 to go. Also, we won a trophy in this episode. That helps us out with the objective. So all in all, a good one. Player of the episode for me, it's between Bruno Fernandes, who came on and got a couple of assists, and Jan Oblak, who was the hero for us in the penalty shootout so it's between the two of them you guys let me know your pick next episode the drama continues we've got a lot of games to get through probably round of 16 champions league in fact definitely we'll get through that one city in the prem spurs in the prem pretty much the entire month of march so a lot of content in the next episode coming up but if you guys are enjoying this series keep the support coming in by dropping a like on the video subscribe if you're new around here and i'll catch you all next time